a furnace that blows warm sometimes and now it and cold sometimes and now it will not shut off at all for those of you who watch my videos I am um, I'm trying to make an improvement on the sound and it's not always that easy all right it's blowing hot now least I'm gonna have to clean that out but um, I'm suspecting they may have their fan turned on and I think I'm gonna inspect this heat exchanger She did not have the fan turned on. See what kind of fan she has. That's going to be a X13. So right now let's. See if we have a call on. Let's see if we have a call on green. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use this is common on my contactor help if I turn it on all right I got no call on green so when this furnace cools off this should time out and turn off the blower In the past, I have had X13 motors that will not shut off. Now you got to remember, they are supplied with voltage, high voltage 24 seven. So if that module messes up, it can run constantly, even if it don't have a call. So what I need to do, I need to take that top plug off. That's my low voltage. And um, check to see if 24 volts for some reason is coming from the board to the motor.
this is a little bit dangerous to do but i'm just touching the back of the motor and not putting my hands on the wheel although i'm getting close and i'm just pulling out that top plug the low voltage is completely disconnected that motor if it was getting a call should ramp down all right so the motor's not shutting off it should have shut off by now i'm still going to check to see if i'm getting low voltage anywhere all right i can use this as common although i think the common on these is grounded i'm not sure <clears throat> but it's like this i know it's a faulty motor because the low voltage is disconnected. Nothing. Three volts. Three volts. 2.6. Well, I'm gonna have to pull that motor and that's a good chance to inspect the heat exchanger. Oh. While I'm getting this disconnected, this capacitor looks so bad. I'm going to check it. All right, 4.89. This is a 45.5. I shorted this out before I touched anything. 42.65. That's probably out of range. If you see right here, it says plus or minus 6%. 0.06 times 4.89. times 2.7. So... Forty-two point three is within range. So let me check that again because I don't remember exactly what it was. Forty-two point six five. It's it's pretty close, but it's still within range. Those little limits, man, that thing is. Those little limits cost a lot of money to be what they are. That one up there too. There's another one up there that's, that's a little more difficult to get to. Let's see if this will work.
All right, that's ready to pull out. completely unplugged I'm trying to watch out for that thermostat wire you see how it can get caught right there I'm going to ohm out this motor, but two thousand ten this is out of warranty, a new module from the an OEM module will cost more than a replacement motor. I think that heat exchanger has been replaced. That looks like a stainless heat exchanger. And just from this inspection, I mean, that looks a little bit rough up there, but I'm not seeing any holes. All right. I'm un unable to see the horsepower on this, but I can see it's 1050 RPM. And on the nameplate, indoor fan right here. If y'all can see that, it says three quarter horsepower. What I have in stock is a half horsepower, so I would need to go get one. I'm gonna work up an estimate and see where this goes. Before I do though, that right there looks like it's gonna give me trouble. All of this right here looks like it's been underwater. I don't know. That thing ain't budging. It's a good sign if you can turn it. I'm just going to take measurements on this wheel. And that budget one if and if i have to take it back i will i am back and because i was going to have to replace the blower wheel as well the customer opted to replace the module and because it was a motor and blower wheel that was quite expensive and this ain't cheap but it's less expensive than doing both
try to show you there's a lip up here and there's another one on the bottom down here if y'all see that the edge of this blower wheel has to fit in that groove and there's another one back there that's hard for me to zoom in on i can't do it with a gopro but there's another one up there i just got them lined up so we're just fixing to push this in and get it it would have been easier if i had plugged these up before i push that all the way back there i will get it that's severely rusted and i almost broke it it wouldn't surprise me if we end up having to replace it right, here's our moment of truth all right the blower is not running constantly so that's a good thing make sure we got power I'm worried about that limit so I'm going to where's my light there we go I'm going to jump out the furnace and make sure it fires up shouldn't shake as much as it did all right here it should come on I'm gonna have to try to reach in there and try to pull some of that out. Y'all see that water line? Water's been all the way up to here. fantastic I do want to know after pulling this out of the blower wheel it's not rattling it's doing much better I do worry a little bit about that limit and I think I'm gonna bring it up to the to the owner but yeah this one's finally done